Hello and welcome to a Conversation Tree Press Unboxing. This is a bit of a surprise. Like This uh, was a title uh, from a new imprint that Conversation Tree is doing. Uh, I should say this is the Paper Menagerie by Ken, Ken Liu. Uh, it is the first in the short stops line that Conversation Tree Press is going to do. It just kind of on Thursday said, uh, hey, surprise. We have a nice little small short story imprint that we're going to do. Uh, these are going to be signed but unnumbered. And we're going to announce them when they are in hand. So it's not really a pre-order by any means. It's like, hey, the book is here. You can buy it if you want. Uh, and he's starting it off, he being uh, Tony, is starting it off with an impressive, impressive Triple Crown winner. This is The Paper Menagerie by... A uh, silk punk author, Ken Liu. Also, the tra he's done some translations in his time as well. Uh, this was the first work of any length uh, that won the Hugo, the Nebula, and the World Fantasy Awards. Uh, so this is a very small short story. It's a little bit smaller in trim size than what one was, what one was expecting. Uh, but as I have been on the line of having rights with Conversation Tree, I had a chance to pick one up. And wouldn't you know, you know, this was just went on sale two days ago, uh, with Conversation Tree being a hop, skip, and jump over uh, Lake Ontario. Uh, it was a very quick arrival here. So this is exciting. A smaller trim size, as you can see, it is quarter bound in cloth, very nice cloth, but the thing that really catches your eye is this almost tiger's eye Design by uh, Freya Scott over Paper Wilds. That is top notch. Uh, this is printed letterpress, by the way, by uh, Hand and Eye Letterpress. So over in the UK, illustrated. I said illustrated. It's the frontispiece here. I mean, they, it's a short story. I mean, yeah, there's no there's no room for interior illustrations beyond this frontispiece. Uh, I've actually not read the short story, but I've heard remarkable things about Ken Liu and well. Uh, Andy and uh, Conversation Tree have done nothing but the utmost quality with their titles. So they, they sold me right off the bat with that. Uh, so it is a short story dealing with a, uh, a young Chinese-American who is trying to come to terms with uh, his uh, cultural identity. Is he, you know, is he going to take after his American half, or is he going to take after his Chinese half uh, from on his mother's side? And I know that through his family, he has the—I don't know if he has the ability, or if it's his, his family that has the ability. Oh, we got a little page stuckage there. Oh no, a little bit of uh, a little bit of schmutz, kind of. Took a little mark of the page there. That's a bummer. Uh, but anyways, uh, he, through his mother's side, he I don't know if he has the ability or if it's just his family's ability to bring to life uh, small paper creatures. You know, little origami brought to life. Uh, but I have heard that it's a very touching tale. Uh, it's received a lot of praise over the years. Like I said, it did win uh, the Nebula, the Hugo, and the World Fantasy Award. And it was the first piece of fiction of any length to do so. Uh, so here we have the limitation page, uh, which is signed, of course, by Ken Liu, and I believe that's Scott McEwen. That must be his signature. It does say signed by the author and illustrator. Printed on Munkin Pure Smooth Cream 120 gram uh, paper. Very nice paper. But yeah, th this is very, very nice. Uh, doesn't sound very Chinesey. <laughs> A very nice production. Uh, I mean, it, I, I guess it would be a little expensive given that it is only 20 pages long, but you have to, when you factor in the fact that it is, uh, it is hard, it is a hardcover with Freya Scott, Paper Wilds, uh, custom paper, letterpress printed, it's affordable for that price. Uh, so it is limited to 300 copies, roughly two thirds of them are already sold out, so, uh, as I mentioned, this short stops line is only going to be announced when they have, and only be available for sale once they have the titles in hand. Uh, they said they had about two-thirds of them in hand, so about 200 of them, uh, sold out within eight minutes. Now, 
I, that is a little bit of a caveat on that. I mean, those who had rights to Conversation Tree Press, which is 150 numbered rights holders and 26 lettered rights holders, uh, did have the first dibs, 24 hours worth of uh, pre-sale on this. So technically, there could have on- there there may have only been what like 24 copies that made it to pre-sale. If everybody bought one, I doubt everybody who had rights uh, bought one. But anyways, about 200 of them were sold out within eight minutes of the public sale. Uh, caveat being, I don't know how many of those were uh, sold originally. We got a little bit of glue on the cover there. And it's nice and saved now. Look at that. Uh, so there will be about 100 more, uh, which will be available for sale at a later date. I don't know when they'll be available. Uh, they're still waiting for it to be in hand. Uh, but they did say online on the on the site page for this that uh, the newsletter subscribers will get first notice of when the remaining copies will go on sale. So uh, there is a link in the description below. It'll take you to Converse- Conversation Tree Press's website. If you wanted to join the newsletter, free to join, you would get first crack or at least a notification of when these remaining copies go on sale. Uh, the same would also apply for uh, getting uh, notifications of future shortstop titles. And uh, future Conversation Tree Press titles, Solaris is right around the corner, Uh, Stanislav Lem, uh, very excited for that one. Uh, If you haven't seen any of the full-length Conversation Tree Press titles, check out my channel. uh, This is going to be part of a playlist that has other Conversation Tree Press unboxings, which include Peter Pan, it includes Fawn, it includes... uh, Flowers for Algernon. I was trying to blank on the name there. And very soon, it will be including the deluxe edition of Treasure Island. Uh, very excited for that one. Uh, it looks stunning. It looks huge. I didn't realize how large it was until I saw pictures of it in the wild. Of the standard edition. Deluxe will be even more fancy. So subscribe to the channel if you want to check those out. Uh, I will continue to do unboxing videos for whatever titles I get along the way. From uh, Conversation Tree Press, Suntup, uh, whomever I'm able to buy from. Curious King, you know. Lots of stuff to keep you entertained, keep you engaged, and being able to see these books uh, in video format if you don't want to spend your money on them yourself. I also have at least one book review a week for you to check out. So thank you very much to Tony and Conversation Tree Press for the very quick shipping uh, for this incredibly remarkable, small yet beautiful title. Uh, Thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you around next time.